First and foremost, how do you feel about your performance tonight? I wouldn't say I was overly impressed, but you know, I underestimated him. He was, um, he was tough, he was resilient, and uh, you know, I underestimated him. I'll, I'll learn next time, you know, not to, to do that to an opponent. But I've got to take my hat off to him. He was tough, and, and that was a tough fight. And why do you say that? Did you not watch enough tape, or what you saw, you just weren't that impressed with? No, I, I watched all of his movies on YouTube, and I watched his last UFC fight. I, f I thought I'd be physically stronger than him, and I thought I could, uh, I could finish him. And I nearly did that in the second round, but. I hit him, I saw him stumbling and then I hit him again and his eyes were just staring at me and I thought, man, he's got one hard head on him, so... But, you know, it was tough, you know, I took my hat off to him. How much did the fact that your last fight got cancelled, right, pretty much close up to the, the event, affect your training and your mindset coming into this one? For this one, I was a bit more determined, you know, and I, I said there was nothing going to stand in my way, I was just going to come out at him hard and fast. Yeah. And People say to me, "Was it? Um, do you think you know the, the long layoff would affect you?" I never thought so, but maybe it did. It, it didn't. To my head, the night it, it felt as if it did, and you know, I'll, I'll know next time that I'm, I'll make sure I get a fight a bit sooner, like every three months or something like that. Were you surprised with his resilience? So you said that you were going at him. You almost had him finished, but I mean, he was really tough. He hung in there right with you. Uh, what did you think about his toughness in there? Yeah, the thing was, he's a southpaw as well, you know, and I'm always used to just throwing single punches against an orthodox fighter, so when you fight a southpaw against southpaw, you've got to throw more punches and bounces, so I tried that, I just dropped my head through the overhand left, and I heard the crowd cheer, and then I looked at him, I saw him stumbling, I thought, right, this is my chance to finish him here, I need to finish him, but I hit him again, and he just looked at me, and I thought, oh man, he's got a hard head, so he was tough, so you know, all them Japanese are tough, so don't don't underestimate them, just because they come, they, they, they got this thing that, <clears throat> When they come to America, they kind of fold, but he's um, he's worthy as his, for his place for sure. <clears throat> Do you feel like this win is really starting to help you move along here in the UFC, being that you had come from the Ultimate Fighter and now you're having more success? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I learned I learned me um, never to underestimate your opponent. And you know these are the type of fights you're going to be in every now and again. So it's good to experience that. I've, I've never been taken down in a fight, and the Japanese fighter took me down. And um, that was, he was a good base, he was hard to take down as well, and so I was forced then to go into plan B, and that was just to grind it out, and that's what I did. So, Norman, you look a little different than the last time we saw you. You got a little hair color, got a fresh cut. Hmm. What's the story behind that? I'm always doing something spectacular, you know, you got, you know, you're in front of millions of people, you got to, you got to look good when you feel good, you look good when you look good, you do good, so. <laughs> I did all right tonight. Yeah, just <laughs> now, I know that you're from Northern Ireland, but that Irish fighter Conor McGregor making quite a buzz around town. What do you think of him? And uh, do you ever see yourselves fighting each other? I ask this question all the time, you know. So I just want to say good luck to him. He's doing, he's doing a good thing for what he's doing. He's, you know, he's representing Ireland. So I wish him all the best. And you know, if he makes that move up the ladder to lightweight, and everybody wants to see it, then so be it. He has to come looking for me. I don't need to go looking for him. So good luck to him. You seem like you're not terribly pleased with the win. I mean, you see, <coughs> most guys that come out from victory are a little bit happier coming here. Is it just because you didn't feel like you performed well? You didn't yeah, or what? I think that's what it comes down to. I think uh, I think I had uh, in my mind with the way I trained and stuff, uh, I thought it was going to put him away, but that all comes down to underestimating the opponent. So I learned, I learned from my mistakes and you know, just keep my head up and move on. And but I still got the win. That's all that matters. But I'm never satisfied anyway, even though I win anyway. But you know, I'll, 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 I'll take that into my next fight and I'll. I'll work on it. And as a tough winner, do you ever feel that extra pressure to prove yourself and you know prove that that wasn't just a fluke? No, no, I, I, I've got nothing to prove to anybody. I know how good I am inside, and all the people at Alliance and the people back home at Next Generation know how good I am. And as soon as I just get it transferred from from the training gym into the actual fight, it's um, there's a lot more to see. So I'll just keep that in my head and just keep working towards my goal, and uh, that's it, and just keep going. What about the main event today? Do we have a hunch who is about who's going to win? Um, I just think Anderson Silva is going to be in a, he's in a league of his own. He's, um, he's like, uh, whenever you watch soccer, as Americans would say, but football back home, it's like Manchester United. They're just in a, a little league of their own. So in that terms, he's the same way. He's, I don't think anybody's going to stop him. But you never know. This is mixed martial arts and anything can happen. So good luck to Chris Wyman. What do you think that makes Anderson so good? I think, you know, there's um, certain people who just got this natural talent, you know. You can get 10 people, but only one person will be a fighter. So he was born with this good gift and he used it and um, it was one of a kind. So good luck. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.